Hi boys and girls. So this video is about estimating with two digit divisors. So we did this in class on Friday. So we have 3,169 divided by 23. And remember, we're gonna find out about how much that is, um, but I'm also gonna show you how to do an overestimate and an underestimate using compatible numbers or numbers that work well together that you can work with and compute mentally like you do them in your head. So first step is to write it horizontally, 3,169 divided by 23. And then the second step is to go ahead and round the divisor to its highest place value. So 23 can either round down to 20 or up to 30. Since 20 is closer to 23 than 30 is, we're gonna choose that. And then remember, we're gonna write our underestimate division problem underneath and our overestimate division problem on the top. Okay, once we've figured out our divisor, we're gonna go ahead and change our dividend to something that's compatible with two. To make it compatible with two, you're gonna underline the two in your rounded divisor and the two digits in, in the front of your dividend. And then we're gonna look for a multiple of two that's closest to 31. Your underestimate choice, actually, and we're gonna do it right here. Remember your underestimate is going to be 30. If you skip count by twos, a multiple of two that's closest to 31 but larger is gonna be 32. Then we go ahead and look at it. Remember you've got those two digits left in your dividend, so that means we're gonna put two zeros. So for our underestimate, we're gonna do 3,000 divided by 20 and for our overestimate, we're going to be doing 3,200 divided by 20. Now we're just going to use basic patterns to go ahead and solve that division. So if you take 32 divided by 2, you can either do that in your head or we might do some long division to figure it out. I'm going to do that here, 32 divided by 2. We're going to divide, multiply, subtract, compare, and bring down. 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. That's your multiplication. And then we subtract and get 1. Is 1 less than 2? Yes, it is. Bring down the 2. And now we've got 12. We're dividing again. 12 divided by 2 gives me 6 in my quotient. 6 times 2 is 12 subtract, you get zero. Is zero less than two? Yes, it is. Nothing to bring down. So we've got our remainder, which is zero. So our answer, 32 divided by two, is 16. So remember, we had to go ahead and tackle the zeros. So when we did two zeros or two z's minus one zero or one z equals 1z. 2z's minus 1z equals 1z. So we're going to stick that 1z in our quotient. So our estimate for our overestimate is about 160. If we do the same thing with our underestimate, we're going to do 30 divided by 2. I could do the long division out, it's going to be 15 because 15 times 2 is 30. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. And then you got to go back and work your zeros again. 2z's minus 1z equals 1z. Bring that 1z or 1 zero in there. And your underestimate is about 150. So that means that your answer when you do the actual division should fall between 150 and 160. Which one is it gonna be closest to? Well, we have to look and see which one is a closer or better estimate. I know I've got a lot of writing right here, but which one would be the best estimate? 3,169 
is closer to 3,200 than it is to 3,000. So our best estimate here is going to be about 160 for the overestimate. Okay, so if they're asking you just to estimate, they're always looking for the best estimate. So we could have, once we figured out these two, just solved this one and gotten about 160. Okay.